In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus MgCl2. That's sodium carbonate plus magnesium chloride. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. In this case, all we need to do is put a 2 right here, and this equation is balanced. After we've balanced this molecular equation, we need to write the states of each of the products. We're going to assume that these are aqueous, that they're dissolved in water, so this reaction can take place. And then we need to look these up on a solubility table. So we can look at this solubility table here, and we can find the magnesium right down here, and then this carbonate we're looking at here. Carbonate, we go down from the carbonate. That's insoluble. That's not going to dissolve in water. It's going to be a precipitate. It's going to be a solid at the bottom of the test tube. We're going to write an S for solid right here. And we said the chlorides, they're pretty much all soluble with the exception of silver. So this will be aqueous as well. That's dissolved in water. So we have the states of each one of the compounds in our net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus MgCl2. Next up, we need to split the soluble compounds apart into their ions. This will be our complete ionic equation. So we need to know the ionic charge for each one of the components. Let's take a look at the periodic table to do that. So on the periodic table, sodium right here, group 1, that has a positive charge. Carbonate, that's not on the periodic table. You could look that up on a table of common polyatomic ions or just memorize 2 minus for this whole CO3 ion, carbonate ion. Magnesium, group 2, 2 plus. And then over here we have chlorine, that's got the negative charge, 1 minus. And then we said 2 plus, 2 minus, plus and minus. So we have the ionic charges. After we have the ionic charge, now we can split things up. So let's do that. We have Na plus, and we have two of those. So we'll put a two in front of that. I'm not going to write the aqueous after each one. Plus, we have the carbonate ion. That's CO3, two minus. We have our Mg2 plus ion, and then we have the chloride ion. That's Cl minus. But we have two of those, so we need to put a two there. So those are the reactants, these ions involved in the reactants. Let's write the products. So MgCO3, we said we're going to split the soluble compounds. Those are the ones that are dissolved. This is a solid, so it's not dissolved. So we're just going to write MgCO3. And let's put a little S after that, just so we remember. And then we have sodium, Na+. Plus. We have two of those, plus the chloride ion, Cl minus, and this two applies to everything, so we have two chloride ions. So that is called the complete ionic equation. From there, we're going to cross out spectator ions. These are ions that appear on both sides of the equation. So I see that I have two sodium ions here. I have two here in the products. Cross them out. I have two chloride ions and two chloride ions here. I can cross them out. These are the things that really haven't changed. They started with two sodium atoms. We end with two sodium atoms. So we're not really interested in that. We're looking at net ionic equations. What has changed? So now we have the net ionic equation. And we can clean that up, and it'll look like this. And this is the net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus MgCl2, the sodium carbonate plus the magnesium chloride. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion written first in this equation. It's the same thing, though. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.